After seeing my video about the crypto visa cards, you might think, well, that cashback reward sounds really juicy. But to get a card, you also need a CRO stake. So what is CRO? Where am I investing in? And is the price of the coin going to the moon? Well, guys, let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Gentlecoin, as usual. And today we are talking crypto web manners about the CRO token. And yes, over here you're seeing the roller coaster ride called the price perspective of the CRO token. And as you see, it is going all over the place. But before we're going to dive deeper into price and what I expect in the coming future, I want to dive deeper into the fundamentals. What kind of coin is it and where do we use it for? So let's get started. As with any cryptocurrency, you should start your own research by reading the white paper. But I do have to mention right now that it covers more than just the CRO token. It talks about the whole crypto.com ecosystem. So about the Visa cards, about the app, about the exchange, about DeFi, and of course also about CRO. Well, overall, it's only a small part of the whole white paper. Anyway, it's still a main pillar of, of course, the whole ecosystem. But I do think that the CRO token is intermittently linked to the whole ecosystem. So if the user base of Crypto.com as a platform grows, probably the user base of the CRO token is going to grow as well. So do take that into account. Right now, we're going to focus on the CRO token. But if you want to learn more about the whole white paper in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, let's talk about some basic information about the CRO token. So the official name is the Crypto.org coin, better known as CRO or CRO. And what you should know is that the total supply of CRO is 30 billion coins. Before there were 100 billion, but due to a recent burn, only 30 billion are left. Do remember this number of 30 billion coins, because this will be important for the tokenomics later on, and that will affect the price. Originally, the coin was created on an ERC-20 contract, so based on the Ethereum network. But recently, they changed to their own blockchain. And thanks to the transition, they are no longer limited by, for example, the high gas fees on the Ethereum network. And that is going to be important for the use case of the CRO token, really. According to the white paper, the main use case of CRO is to power the Crypto.com ecosystem Crow should really be used for those day-to-day -day payments to, for example, get your cup of coffee. This is in stark contrast to, for example, Bitcoin, which is more seen as digital gold or store of value. But payments is only a small part of the whole pie. It is mainly divided into three use cases. We got payments, trading, and finance. And we already mentioned, you know, buying cup of coffees with your Crow. But there's also, of course, this powerhouse of the Crypto.com ecosystem, the Visa cards. Right now, the Visa cards are all running on those fiat currencies. But with the Visa partnership and also the experimenting with cryptocurrency, it might be well possible that you're paying with Crow in the future on your Visa card. And also, it is already available with selected online retailers. And of course, you can get your gift cards paying with Crow. Next to payments, we also got the trading. Crypto.com also got their own exchange. And as most exchanges, Crypto.com is making money using fees. Normally, you pay a small part of your trade as a fee. But you can decide to pay those fees not with that token or currency, but you can pay those fees with Crow. If you do so, you get a small discount. So you as a user are incentivized to get Crow to use for trading. Finally, we got finance. And honestly, I'm not entirely sure what the use case of finance is currently with Crow. So the main part is the DeFi wallet. On the DeFi wallet, you can stake your CRO to power the Crypto.org chain. If you store your CRO on the DeFi wallet, you get an amazing APY. So an interest rate of give or take 15%. So from a price perspective, it's amazing. But other than really storing your coins over there and getting more coins in return, there isn't much you can do with it, really. Personally, I do think that the most important part of finance is still coming to the ecosystem, and it is DeFi swap. Over there, you don't need a central exchange to make sure you can swap those tokens. If you got Ethereum and you want to get Bitcoin, 
there's some sort of peer-to-peer -peer system where you are selling directly to another user, so there's no exchange needed. In the future, the Croak token could be the main token used on DeFi swap. Like for example, we got the Uni token for Uniswap. But right now, those things are still unsure. So the finance system seems to be still work in progress. But overall, there is a strong use case for the Crow token. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is the strongest use case. Is it finance or trading? Or do you think it's payments? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, do not forget to press the big red subscribe button. Now you should know a little bit more about the fundamentals of the CRO token. So it's finally time to discuss the price. And as you might know, nothing is as uncertain as the price of a coin, especially in cryptocurrency. It is very time sensitive, but I want to discuss the potential for this cycle in 2021. How high can the price really go? To do any prediction, you can make use of three things. One, fundamental analysis combined with tokenomics. Two, technical analysis and free straight up guessing. Technical analysis is nothing more and nothing less than reading charts. These charts can give you recognizable patterns that can tell you if the price is going up or down. Unfortunately though, with altcoins like for example CRO, these technical analysis patterns are not really reliable. Coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, those give you really reliable patterns. What we can do though, is look at the relative strength of Crow versus Bitcoin. Therefore, we need to navigate to the Crow versus Bitcoin charts. Over there, we see an interesting pattern. So we went down by a lot starting in September 2020. But from there on, well, it kind of seemed like we have flatlined. So we're following the price of Bitcoin. That means if Bitcoin goes up in value, CRO goes up in value. If Bitcoin goes down in value, CRO goes down in value. Right now, I'm going to make a huge assumption and I'm definitely not on financial advisor. But what if we actually keep basically this strength? It's a one-on-one -on -one relation to Bitcoin. Well, in that case, we can look at the price potential of Bitcoin. There is one widely accepted model that predicts the price for Bitcoin quite accurately the last few years. And that is the stock to flow model made by Plan B. I will link this model over here, but it predicts that we will be going to 100,000 US dollar for one BTC in the coming months. Currently, Bitcoin is around 50,000 US dollars. So the price will have to double to reach the mark of 100,000. Some people do say that Bitcoin will go to 250,000 this year, but I do think 100,000 is a nice safe assumption. So, if Crow follows suit, that means that Crow will also double in value. If you want to learn more about technical analysis, or if you want to see more price predictions, then please do follow me on Twitter at CoinGentle. Anyway, so a safe 40 cents for technical analysis if you follow along with Bitcoin. However, you might have heard of the Bitcoin dominance. So the Bitcoin dominance basically shows how much of the total market cap is ruled by Bitcoin. And it started all the way this year on 72%, but it dropped down to right now 45%. That means in this time, Bitcoin has been losing versus altcoins, like again, something like Crow. The overall belief is that when Bitcoin loses dominance, it is the start signal of alt season. This is the time in the cycle when the prices of altcoins are going to the moon. The big question though is, will Crow join this party? To do so, it will have to get rid of the one-to-one -one ratio with Bitcoin. And for that to happen, well, there needs to be a huge hype or something really fundamentally happening with Crow. So let's dig some deeper. Fundamentally speaking, we could best describe Crow as a utility token for exchanges. So an exchange token. In the top 100 coins, there are many exchange tokens. Like for example, we've got the FTX token. We've got the Huobi token. These are all exchanges. But the most well-known one is the Binance coin. For the fundamental analysis, we have to compare Crow to Binance coin. In many ways, these coins are very similar. Both Binance and Crow have their own exchange, both have their own Visa cards, and both have their own blockchain. There are also the similarities stop. The Binance platform is a lot bigger and their Binance smart chain has many more use cases currently. Having said that though, Crypto.com as a platform is growing rapidly and they're onboarding more and more users. So in the future, it might become as big as Binance. 
Then for the price, well, history never really repeats, but it often rhymes. So what we see for the price of the Binance coin, well, basically within only four months, it skyrocketed more than 10x in price. So it went all the way from 59 US dollars to basically $625. They might be asking, well, gentle coin, when is the price of Crow gonna hit 600 US dollars? And honestly, guys, it is never going to hit 600 US dollars. That has everything to do with the total supply. Binance coin has a total supply of give or take 150 million BNB, whereas Crow, as I mentioned earlier in the video, has 30 billion Crow in circulation. So if we do a quick calculation, we get the max supply of Binance coin, so the 170 million, and we're gonna make sure we divide that by or Crow amount. And then we see that for every Binance coin, there are 175 Crow coins available. Simply said, there are way more Crow than Binance coins. What we can do though, just for fun and giggles, what if we take the price of BNB and divide it by the amount we just calculated? So 624 by 175. So then we see that if Crow is going to grow to the same market cap as for example, Binance coin, the max price of Crow will be around 3.5 US dollars. I'm not saying that Crow is going to $3.5 anytime soon, but as the platform is growing and adding more utilities, well, we might see a similar valuation in market cap as for example, Binance coin. And guys, I do not think that 624 US dollars is the ceiling really for Binance coin. A $1,000 Binance coin is definitely not unthinkable. Anyway, like I mentioned before, price of cryptocurrencies are very unpredictable. But my save bet will be 35 cents near the end of the year, and my absolute moon price will be 3.5 US dollar. Personally, and this is definitely not financial advice, I think 35 cents is a little bit too low, and 3.5 dollar is a little bit too high. My bet would be around 1 dollar. And if Dogecoin can hit 1 dollar, well, Crow can definitely hit 1 dollar. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments down below what your price predictions are for the Crow token. And of course, if you like the video, do not forget to press the thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. But that's it for now. I'm Gentlecoin and I will see you in a future video.